Welcome to Breaking Bread at the Dinner Table. I am Andrew. This is Gino, Emilio, Andre the Great. The purpose of this show is the solitary commission and communion of men. Men, we got a problem. We got a problem. Things that plague our community, the family structure, we, we, we have separated it from each other. We have separated the men one way, the women another way, and we want to get to the bottom of it. Why is the children are the oppressors and the women ruling over us? Some great points. Well, you got to go back to the, uh, the, the, the root issue because we talk about the symptoms of a nosebleed. Symptom I mean, of a nosebleed. The symptoms of a problem, and, the, and, the, and we're looking at the nosebleed, or the nose is running. Right. Those are the symptoms of the bigger problem of the unity and, like you said, the solidarity and the aggregating of the funds. We have no financial base. We have all these ramifications. You get these symptoms where the children running the rampant and the women are taking over because the men are failing to lead. And what this show is directed to is bringing the men back into full spectrum. The ranks, the, the elders, the, our wise counsel, and the young men are for war. And so... This breaking bread at the dinner table is for the men to come back together because we got to fix the problem. We can't wait and let the women do it because when women, when men fail to lead and women take over, things fall apart. So what do we need to go from now? What we need to go back to, we understand the breakup and the translated slavery, but we don't want to go back that far because we're not suffering from slavery today. Right. We're suffering from the poverty of slavery. Speaking of poverty, poverty is, is a symptom <laughs> that has been given to us like a sickness, like a disease. And we have so long fought against it that we have not had a plan in place to get out of it. And so we as a community have to collectively say, where are the, where is the money? Where are the problems? How can they get, get fixed? What can get solved and place them in priority as far as what's important? Schools, home life, spiritual life. Right. Those are three elements that are that first uh, must be addressed is for any man. For any man. For right. any man. So we need to start out with the family because I think everything is going to draw back to the family. 360, it's, no matter what you do in life, it draws back to the family. Success? Because, because we haven't been protecting the women for the last 200 some years, the women say, now it's my, I'm taking over. You say because we have not? We have not been protecting our women and our children. Well, they start off with uh, World War II, right? right. Can, we go, can we start off with World War II? Because like I said, we're going to start in 1900. We're not going to take it back to the trans. After 1952, slave. what happened? 1942 or 52? One of them. 1942. 42. World War II. The men went to war. Before World War II, we was at home. Well, the men, the women were at home. The men got shipped off to war. And that changed the workforce because the women became, what you like to say, self-preservation mode because they had to take her home now. But they left and put the kids out and put them into the workforce. 6.5 million women went to work. Mm. When we come back home, men don't have a job no more. That's a good point. It, it, it pretty much, the war helped birth the feminist movement. Exactly. You know, so, so as a feminist, you're like, well, I don't need a man a to point. take care of me. I don't need a man. That's going to be somebody that, that, that tells me how to do, what to do, when to do, how to think, what to wear, all those things. Correct. Because I make my own money now. Right. Now you know? the, uh, the roles have reversed. The roles have the reversed. women up here with the men down here. Uh, what's the lady name? Rosie the River. Remember the, uh, the Rosie the River that she used to hold up the sign, women, we, uh, we work, we here now. I've never heard of her. Yeah, Rose the River. If you go back and look at 19, right after this World War II, a commercial to flash everywhere. Rose the River. Rose the River. Right. So, so at this point, we know where we're at now. The objective of the show is to bring the men together so we can come up with some solutions. We got to come up right. with some mm -hmm. solutions. And like you said, you add the, the spiritual, what you say, the spiritual? Spiritual, uh, the, the economic, uh, uh, it's also the... the the at home the, 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 the home the school family structure family structure yeah, too in the schools it's got it has I feel like in my personal opinion education is so important it's vital good book says my people prepare for a lack of knowledge right. and not just because of scriptural knowledge because honestly that's the key right. but even still with that you can draw from other instances and other relationships and understand that if if you don't put forth the effort to grow it and nurture it, right. you won't have anything. That's the work. Right. I think God said put in the work. I think Andre the Great said he had a good point though. He said we you know we're trying to treat the symptoms. 
You know, all these things that we have are symptoms. They're not the root of the problem. Yeah. The root of the problem is that men don't stand in their rightful place and take care of their families. You know, we're so worried about entertaining mm -hmm. ourselves and having a good time, and we're not standing in our right place. And really, the real thing is we have to start at home. When Andre takes care of his house and trains his boys up and trains his daughters up, then they're going to know what man to look for, and they're going to reject the man that does not stand on the principles of uh, just good karma principles, not just biblical principles, uh, but good moral principles, you know, and that's the key thing right there. Uh, we, and like you said, my people prayers for lack of knowledge, but, you know, the scriptural knowledge is basic fundamental truths, basic fundamental. so it's not really something that's high and lofty, and for me, I take the attitude for my family that I'm the primary teacher in my house. Right. You know, my son, if he doesn't know algebra, it's not the teacher's fault. It's my it's fault. My fault. Exactly. Correct, correct. That's knowledge. That's more than education. It's knowledge. A woman is the first teacher to a child, but if, um, the man is the responsible head. Right. He responsible. He, he lays the instructions for the household to, uh, to function correctly. Right. Right. So after the World War II movement, what came next? What broke up the family after World War II? World War II was small. I think what next came was the uh, feminist, feminist move, mm. right after the civil rights move. No, it was the, was it right, right after the civil rights Right after. Oh, right after. Yeah, the civil rights movement was 1968. Okay. Feminist move came like 69, 70. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what was the whole point of the feminist move? Because before then, we wasn't fighting our women, and it wasn't no superior or inferior problem. Because right. we was together. So we was, was to, together. It was done on purpose to debase the women. And, reverse the roles so they will have your children's children mind gone. It's, it's more or less like the first traumatic principle, the universe is mental. And right now we're dealing with a lot of mental illness from all these things that have been set up in place for us to keep tripping over of. And now they don't, we don't, they don't have to set them up anymore because we set, we set we're them setting up. We're setting them by ourselves. Right. Yeah, it's, it's almost like when you, when you have a genetic mutation, if you look at it from a chromosomal uh, perspective, mm -hmm. You know, you had genetic mutations. Some, you know, like an albino person in mm -hmm. Africa. You know, that's right. where where, where, the, where the albino white person came from. Is Africa. So, when the genetic mutation occurred, they would stick out like a, like a sore thumb. Right. So right. they would right. easily be identified. Right. In some places, it's better to have fair skin, albino skin. In some places, it's better to have dark skin. But when you inject that same in, uh, 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 idea into socially and economically repressed people right. of a, a movement that says, you know what, this right here will be a hindrance and a stumbling block. If you reverse the order, just like what the devil did in the, in the Garden of Eden, reverse right. the order of what the natural order is, putting the woman in lead above the man, right. then that's going to totally turn their society on its head, whichever right. society follows their way. And it says right. when, the, when you empower the weaker sex to devour the stronger sex, the children are left vulnerable. That's right. And the spoils of war, because we are in commercial warfare, whether we believe it or not, the spoils of war is the booty and the prize, which is the women and the children. Right. That's right. So, the civil rights movement was basically, we was a family. Because we went attacking injustice, problems in our neighborhood right. together. Together. Right. But the thing is, we was asking for civil rights instead and of human, human rights. Human rights. Right. 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 right, right. It's a difference. Explain the difference between civil and human rights. Civil, civil rights is just... The rights you get within the civilization, which is a construct governed by laws and customs. Human right come from the inalienable right come from the one source above. It ain't got nothing to do with no man. That's right. That's your human rights to, to live and be fruitful on the planet and multiply. It's just a subdued. That's the earth. first mistake. Right. We, we, we gave in to civilization or the the, the sit with the civil rights movement was to in, integrate you into their ways of civilization when we was together. And we were just fighting to keep them up off us. Right. right. And now we, we, well, we had, when we integrated, we relinquished everything we had on our own to come kick it with them. Mm -hmm. Right. And that was to our demise. But right. now we don't have any of our own anymore. We're sharing, sharecropping still. We're sharing our, we time and our labor for Federal Reserve notes. <laughs> like, you used to, like, like you said before on another uh, show, they bought you. They played you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and Martin Luther King said, I want, to be free, I want to be separate but equal. But equal right. And we want a redistribution of the wealth because nobody should be poor as much as we had back then. That's right. That's a good point. And so that was, the demise, that was to the demise, and now you've empowered the women. And at this point, you've empowered them so much, and now the movement had to come about. Mr. Obama, our last president, 
gave the gay rights, which right. gave the feminist movement more power. Right. It's a good point. And it's all a go against the masculinity or the masculine principle. It's a domino effect. One thing led to another one. Like we said, we're coming from World War II down to civil rights. Then we get to the feminist. And then we got another problem with the drugs. Well, yeah, the they pump. And mm -hmm. after, this, after they kill your lead, you cut the heads off. And the body is an abstract. It only does what the head tells it to do. The war not against the woman, though. The war against the men. The war is against your natural nature. Your nature. Right. And so it, you cut the head off and it... The body is abstract. Everything, it just, the head only does what the body tells it to do. So our leaders was Malcolm and Martin then. Right. And so after that, you pump drugs in the community. So it won't be no more black messiahs coming out. Right. And then the war on drugs in the 80s with Reagan. And then you, you steamroll right into the 90s where they changed hip hop. Stop this unifying rap to this gangster rap. Right. Because the record execs was building private prisons and they need to fill these prisons up. And so they said, we got to change this hip hop because that's the, the, Lucifer was in charge of the music. That's right. He's the known the chair. But yeah. the key thing is when we get to the point, like you said, we recognize these problems, but how do we fix it? A lot of times we're selling out ourselves, you know, for as, as a culture. We're allowing the culture to rule us instead of mm -hmm. us ruling the culture. Mm -hmm. Some things I do not allow, like Andre, we talk all the time about different things, about music and things of that nature coming into your household. But when men... Or just the family structure puts a they foot down and say this doesn't this doesn't I don't show this show in my house I don't watch Empire in my house because right. it's not something that's going to show uh, a good good thing productivity things. Right. productivity productive. principles right. concepts morals is not showing anything that's going to value and help my family be successful right. right but when we talk about the money thing is I think you know we have to look at it this way wow. we need to do some things like so Andre you own your own shop it's a great thing so. We as men in our communities need to own things and do different things. And we can't be, even though we're in this world, that we, that we don't let them contain us. And like I said, but when you said a good point about civil rights and human rights, mm -hmm. but when civil rights overtake basic human principles that we should automatically have, then that's when you have chaos and disorder. Right. You know, when your laws become where you're giving laws to people or giving rules to people just because of their whatever they choose to do in life, then that's when we have error. So... We have to make sure that those civil rights don't overtake those human rights, but that's what should be happening anyway. But the key thing of it is, we, as men, we got to take it back. One, one family at a time. One and family at a time. And the men got to realize we're under occupation. And this is commercial warfare. We might not be getting dropped bombs on us, but they're mm -hmm. dropping the bombs on us because we have no financial backing. We have no bodies, no country that's backing us. You have, you're under occupation. And the men have to recognize that. And we want, that don't mean pick up your guns and right. go try to do right. something. It means come together and collectively, because we the logic part. The women are the emotional side of the brain. Right. They, the, they the right hemisphere, we the left. And so we have to be the responsible heads and recognize where we are. We got to figure out, we said all this, and now where are we as a collective from coast to coast? We're supposed to be 60 some million, but. All our resources are scattered every which way, and no, nothing is directly contributed to our neighborhoods in a sense because we live in the neighborhoods. We left. Families broken up. Divorce rate at an all time high. I mean, it's, it's, in the black community, it's, it's, how do we fix it? What do we need to do? What's step number one? What do we need to do? First off, we're doing it right now. We said when three or four of us is, is amongst each other, so am I. Right. So we starting it right now. We got to start aggregating our funds. We got to start, like he said, producing more black businesses for the children to follow. Because right. we tell them to go to school, get degrees, and get a good job. Right. To be a better to, employer for employees. Right. To be right. employee. Yeah. To yeah. Look up, yeah. right. To be another employee. Worker. That's a slave. That's right. a slave. That's a good point. Slave right to there. the state. Right. You right. say you can't the, serve two masters. You ain't going to serve God or you going to serve man. When we have a job, you just over broke. Consistently right. tied to that job. Trading your eight hours. For that Federal Reserve, man, they ain't got nothing to do with what you're supposed to be here to do. Because we all a piece of the mind and a part of the whole. So everybody got their own fingerprints, so we're here to do something for the planet and for the human family. And we got so caught up in being the man and doing all this superficial stuff, right. and our souls are being lost. Like you said, with that superficial, phase one, uh, will be have to just expose the lie. Expose the lie of the American dream of 
you know, big house, big car, big chain, big ring. Right. You know, five, six women, because right. we're black men. Five, six women, you know. Right. That's a lie. Hey, I a got lie. one wife, and that's enough to keep up with. <laughs> I know. I know. One to keep you busy. Yeah. Keep yeah. Plenty busy. It's definitely we got to show that and, strong and we, family right. unit. And we have, we have to expose the lies so, right. that, so that our minds won't get easily led astray and warped. Right. You know, when there's when there's so many things that look shiny and flashy right. and good and blingy that catches our, our attention and draws us away, right. but we can look at it and say, Whoa, that's not good for me. That's not gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna continue my demise and not help me or my community. Right. And even those that are in places that, that put those images out there, they have to understand their accountability. Accountability, factor. right. And and that was my word for, for I give my kids, we do a word of the month and our word of the month this month is accountability. Good. You know, and, and we have to be accountable for what we were responsible for. And when you when you're responsible for something, you're taking care of something. You care about what you're doing with it. You take pride in it, and that's another level inside of the phase one is we have to instill that pride within ourselves so we can walk tall. Right. You know, if it, uh, you say, say you have to have three bones, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, you got to have uh, um, a backbone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a bone that's going to be, you know, somebody try to ride your back. You know, you need to know what's right and you can stand up straight. But they're going right. to ride your back when you bend over. Right. You know, you got to have a funny bone because life's going to happen to you, you right. know. And, and, and you got to have a wish bone. You've got to have a dream. You've got, you right. got to have something that you're hoping and aspiring to, to push forward to. Right. So. And that's number one. Uh, a lot of men, we, we don't have no work. We're not mm. doing anything. We're not doing nothing for the woman to want to follow. Mm. Because women, again, they are receivers. We are givers of May. They are the law. We are the law enforcement. Right. So that means that we have to put out because she's attracted to what she hear. Right. She's not attracted to what she sees. That is true. What she sees. <laughs> now, if I'm out doing my work and you're showing potential, yeah. only thing I need her for is to help me and we can build this family structure back together. Right. right. And women only follow two things, society and strong men. And we the men are that father unit that's missing in a lot of households, which is right. creating the chaos, which is really mental illness that's plaguing our community. It's not he bad and he did this. It's right. the mental engrams that's in your head that's keep replaying because you ain't putting nothing new or you have no no resources to put anything new in there. So you don't have a res uh, uh, your proper response is not going. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be limited to limited. what you've been around right? under the stimuli you've been stimulated with, mm -hmm. and so. As a man, we got to start taking our communities back. Mm -hmm. Start aggregating our funds and start showing. That's what this is about, showing instead of just talking. Right. And the and key word you said was limited, and, and you have to have a mindset of abundance because we serve right. a God that has abundance. Right. And if we're in a line with God, we can see that and understand that. But if we don't, you know, it's, it's me, my four, and no more. You right. know, we're just grabbing, and right. we're not, like you said, givers. We're takers. Right. You know, we're taking a life. Right. And a life is precious, mm -hmm. you know. Right. A life is precious, and we just take, 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 take. Whether right. taking money, taking a life, right. you know, taking opportunity from one another. So we have to, as you say, collectively come together. And render unto Caesar what is Caesar, unto the Lord is what is the Lord. And so we got to stop looking at the possessions as if this is making who we are. Right. Right. Exactly. Because you can, you you grow up and you live all your life and can't take none of it with you. No, you sure. And, and we've been glorifying the stuff, mm -hmm. right? Instead of what's going on inside. And we've been taught to worship something outside of yourself when all of us collectively is that together. Right. The disregarding nature and loving what the world gives you right. or what the what the world is presented to you because all of it is manufactured. And so we become true. manufactured beings. It's easy to control people who won't think for themselves. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Very true, very easy. So you, so you, you, you take the head off the body and it ain't nothing else function. Right, but we're here to get some hands out some instructions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we get it back. <laughs> and put some things together and start, start acting instead of just talking about it. Now, yeah. once we get the family structure back together, that builds the village in your community. Right. Correct? Right. If you look at all the different nations that's over here, all of them still practice commu the, the Cambodian community, the Ethiopian community. They, the China, they commune together as a unit. They put their money together and send it to the politicians and say, this is what we want. Right, and they they get that so, because they together. That's the thing we get into. The whole issue, the nose is running, but there's a deeper problem going on inside of us is that the unity is not there. Mm, no right. unity. No that's, unity. Number, that's number one. Right. That's number one. They mad at the Mexican people, but the one thing the Mexicans got is unity. They got right. unity. 
That's they right. get mad at the Africans, the Chinese folk. The one thing they have is their unity. Their unity. men are taking care of their nation right. and right. their project. I like right. the unity. Key word, know. men. You right. know, the unity, you know, individually, these are five fingers. But you putting together, it's one fist. It's one right. fist. You right. know, and, that, and unity is, is like their fist. It makes a statement. It makes a impact. The question is, though, how do we get this unity? You know, when everybody has their own mission, their own plan. So how do we bring and rein everybody back to get on one single mission? Because it is, when we talked about the civil rights movement, I mean, we had all different nationalities come together and fight for a cause. You know, same thing for in our, in our culture. We got to rein in certain people, and we have to unify on this common collective point. But the problem is because everybody has their own agenda, and we know, like, for example, when you get into the entertainment business, we have these people out here, so-called, uh, entertainers or whatever and they're so called leaders in our community but yet they sell out they don't stand up for any principles any moral principles biblical principles just common family principles and you know everything goes out the window the first thing we got to do is get those people out of the limelight of, and especially in front of our kids and say look these are not true mentors you need to look at people that are practical people we need you to be folks on being a lawyer and a doctor or something that's productive or owner of a business then you think you're going to be the next LeBron James no there, there can be a couple of LeBron James but we got to look at overall everybody can't play everybody basketball can't or be an actor well I don't and think you can deflect them from those aspirations because mm -hmm. the beast is big and he's he right. got control he got his tentacles are everywhere right. and so what we got to do is don't go with the flow. We gotta be the flow. We gotta start the flow right now. We gotta start that what we what we want right now. We gotta look at see the end result right now of what we doing right now. We just gonna be the flow. Cause they ain't gonna stop looking at LeBron because LeBron is faster than him. <laughs> right, right. Well, we're not I, gonna I stop looking at him. But I'm I saying, know what you say. I would turn stop you right. right. As, yeah. So we well, have to thinking be the flow. that you can go to you're gonna be the next NBA player right. or the next rapper or the next Jay Z right. or whatever. Realize it's just entertainment. It's entertainment. Right. And we the entertainment need to be has focused on more of what we did in nineteen twenties and thirties on the technical part, the plumbing, right. the letting them know that you hey, one day right. you can own your own business. That's, That's not as hard as thinking you're going to go to the NBA. Yes. NBA is one out of, what, 60,000, <coughs> so right. many people. But when you're talking about technically like plumbing and all your little uh, trades, trades, right, trades, right. you can do that. That's on you. Right. And we got to teach people that all work is honorable. So it doesn't matter what job you have. If you do, right. if you do it well, then that's honorable. You know, and the key thing, like one of my past said, if you keep a, get a job and keep a job for a certain amount of time frame, you will build wealth. You know, if you're just not foolish with what you do with your money, of course. So is it 75% of the work is a woman, and 75% of the problem is a woman? That was a quote Farrakhan said. 75% of the problem is the woman, 75% of the, and she's 75% of the work. Break it down, because I, I heard Farrakhan say it, but it went over my head. <laughs> yeah, it went over my head right there, too. I don't because, God ain't, because God is, or, or the mm -hmm. devil, or the enemy is there to trap the woman, and he's after her seed. Right, that's so true. She ain't the seed. She all the women have their eggs when they born. Right, you the seed. Right. So he had to trap her. That's why he met he, the serpent went to her because she's so impressionable. Right. right. She's more impressionable than you. I'm more so, emotional. And, and she's after she her nature wants her. It's just her nature to want all the shiny bright stuff. Right. We don't need all that. Right. Her nature. That's why he went after her, and she liked the apple, and she told him to bite the apple. Right. So. Right. He is to, out to trap her because he's trying to kill the seed, the seed. of the woman. Right. And, and, and bringing this feminist movement and the, uh, you, you know, the, the, how would you say, this Anglo Saxon Greco Roman culture that we're practicing is, or they practicing man on man stuff, is not good. Yeah. No, it's not good. But it's, it's, like you say, he went out to the seed of, of, of the woman. For a reason. For a reason because she's the first teacher to the child anyway. Right. So whatever, I mean, I know the way that Lynch may not be real. I don't care if he's real or not, but the concept mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. A lot of people look at that he whipped the man just to be punishing him. But the psychologically wasn't on the man. It was on the woman because next time she have a son, she's teaching the son teaching to step, back. To don't step do down. Don't, don't stand do up because you're going to be like your father. Oh, that's a good point. Interesting point you made about Willie Lynch, not about that last part, but the fact that it may or may not be true. Right. Is it too naive to think that there cannot be a governing body that may or may not be someone who is an actual person, but a collective cultural changer, a cultural changer that says, 
rapper this this and this is detrimental to the culture and puts them on blast. Of course, because puts why them on notice. You only have certain people that own certain, like far as publishing and getting right. your music out. Mm -hmm. right. It's only certain people that own it. Mm -hmm. right. But what's funny to me is that Jay Z come out with his title thing. Mm -hmm. We don't follow him though. Right. He he's a black entrepreneur to give everybody a way to put out their music. But we constantly go to Sony. Mm -hmm. And we're not backlashing them. But we're backlashing Jay. Mm -hmm. we're, it's like we, we stuck in our mentality. We stuck in two. I'd rather be integrated with the, the white people, man. Right, right. But how, how do we, as, as, a, as a group, mm -hmm. collectively say, look another way? Because, you know, that, that answer is always going to be it's there. Be that right. question is going to be there. But how do you, as a, as a group, get group think to change? All the men have to step up collectively. We got this, a hard this job. A, this is an all hands on deck type of thing. Right. This, hard right. Job. right. this is not just five, six of us. Yeah, you got people been getting together and creating stuff and trying to help for, for decades. Right. But it's an all hands on deck. It's a realization that has to happen for the 66 million black people. Hmm. Right. That's, that's the thing. Right. And so the only thing we can do, like my man Charles always say, all we got to do is work on our rice bowl first, like Gito said. <laughs> That's right. I, how we can do a, control what you can control. Right, right. you control your household, you control your household, I control my household, you control your household, we got a village. Right. So and we now, we, now we, us five, us four, us five, right. six, seven, we have to start aggregating our funds, and now we have to start practicing group economics and start putting businesses. It don't take nothing for us to go put a little ice cream shop in the neighborhood, right. a little karate shop. See all the stuff that they got in the suburbs, we can do the same do exact the same thing, thing. Exactly. Right. but everybody want to looking out for self. Right. And want to be the man mm -hmm. when collectively these people get percentages with their business. Exactly. Right. He got a little bit, he got a little bit, you right. got a little bit, I got a little bit. If before they looking at the end wrong, the person's right. just instant gratification. Exactly. That's what they focus, they got us focusing on. Boom, go get it right now. As soon as you get out of it, gotta have it now. The right. Microwave mindset. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, right. Mm -hmm. You gotta start back at the church. Most definitely. Most that's definitely. Because that's what you get. To. Oh, out of that $60 you billion dollars a year. Trillion dollars. All school system, all police system. We're we supposed to have all our own money. everything. Exactly. Right. Just, as you great, make a great point. To the church, so that's what you got to start at, where they give it right. to. And all our neighborhoods have. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All, he's he's all absolutely money. right, because all Bartley did is just start them, got a charter to start a municipality, which is a Roman venue. They got a police department, yeah. an agriculture department, a water department. We can do these same things in our neighborhoods because we have commercial streets. That's, the buildings are just dilapidated. Dilapidated. They just, we have these same people. When people come to Memphis, they supposed to be visiting Douglas. They supposed to be going through Hollywood and South, what the different part, what these, and getting the flavor from our own, get, showing them our flavor from our culture. But it has right. to be done in a professional way. Right. And so we have to do that. We got to be the movers and the shakers. Mm -hmm. This is a call <laughs> to all y'all. <laughs> all y'all men out there. Let's come break bread with us at the dinner table. And oh, let's yeah. get some work done. But we look here. We go. Uh, anything else you want to say, Gino? I was just saying, uh, and he made a good point. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite broadcasts says, you know, we got to get back to God. got to get back to his morals and his principles and his concepts. When you fall in line with those principles and those concepts, then that's where we can unify together and go out and do a collective work. No, whether we agree on everything, but so we have to agree on some things what we want to accomplish. If we do that, then we can have that so goal. Good, good stuff, it's a starting point for us. Right. We got to all agree on the goal. What, that, what, right. what we're trying to accomplish. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the future. You know, you have to you have to have a hope. You have to have a vision. The vision. And right now, we're getting ready to put a vision for it. Mm -hmm. Write the vision. Make it plain. After that, it's easy. Say no more. And then we got to get out this thing uh, where it's, uh, we against each other. I mean, black, white, Asian, we all human. One one race. God right. created one race. And it, it was did. the human race. That's right. So the division that we're constantly worried about other people and their race, is we got to get out of that because we all going to have to live commercially with each other regardless. 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 So am I my brother's keeper? Yes, we are. Oh, am. am I my brother's keeper? Yes, yes I am. am. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got anything? Anybody? Y'all good? All right, bring okay. bread dinner table. Get with us every Sunday at 5 o'clock, and we'll be right back at you. Peace and love, people. Peace and love.